Okay guys, so here we are in Logic and today I wanna to show you how we can quantize a piece of audio like it was MIDI to another piece of audio. So I've got these two loops in here. Top one is just a simple like garage two-step break. Sped up to DMB and then I've got a hat loop. And the hat loop is really kind of like out of the swing. So they're not working uh, great together. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make this hat loop slave to this guy right here. Uh, we're going to quantize the audio to do that rather than cutting up each individual part and doing it by hand. So let me show you this top track where it's one. We're going to right click on it and we are going to go down to track header components. And in here we've got one called groove track. It's off by default. We're going to switch that on and it looks like nothing's changed. However, when we hover over the one now, it changes to a little star. I never used to do that. If we star that, it's going to become our lead groove track. Okay, so that's part one. We need to make sure we've chosen the thing that we're going to quantize to in this case. In this case, it's going to be this break just for the example. Now we need to decide how we're going to get the hats to work. Firstly, we need to put a flex time on. So up here, you've got the option for flex time. You can also do command and F. So we're going to hit that and we don't want monophonic in this case because it's a, a chopped up break or it's not a chopped up break yet, but we're going to make it one. We're going to use flex time slicing and you see it's now sliced the break up for us. All right, because we've used flex time and sliced the break up, we can now quantize and move the individual bits of audio. You probably know that already. Here's the bit you probably didn't know. So we've got the groove track here. Now we've flex time and sliced this. Notice here next to two, we've got this little icon and we can just click that and it's now going to slave them together and they'll be way more in sync. So that's taking us a little bit of the way there. We can take this a step further as well. On that initial break, if we switch flex time on there as well, and we'll use slicing on that, we can kind of steal that groove as well. If we get the inspector up, if you can't see the inspector, just tap I and it'll pop up on the left for you. Where it says quantize off, we're gonna click on that, go right to the bottom and grab make groove template. Again, nothing happens, but now when we select our other break here, we can do quantize. Now it's currently uh, this two step behind because it's synced to a uh, groove track. What we can do is take it off of the slave, it goes back to quantize off, and we've now got two step behind in our quantize template, and boom, it's gonna grab it there and do that for us. So there you go, guys. That's two really quick ways you can quantize audio inside Logic Pro. Hope the video has been helpful for you and I will see you on the next one.